Greetings, fellow Goobers. Welcome back. Today, uh, I'm with Triple Six. Yeah. I'm with a very special guest. My little cuz, Nick. Hi, That's it. No, hi, everyone. No fun <laughs> fun nickname for you. No. Nope. Nick name. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're off to a good start. Yeah. So, sure. anyways, he wanted to play, get into some Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes. These two guys know a little bit about it, or as they say, all, everything about all. it. All. I have no, I know nothing about this game, so I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is it looks like there's a bunch of schoolgirls and you can almost see up their skirts. Yeah, <laughs> and things apparently get crazy. So I think without further dudes, uh, we should just jump right in. In the, in the game. game, let's go. Right. What's so, your name today? My name. It's All always right. Goober. Okay. Yeah. All right. Always Goober. All right. All right. So we'll see. <laughs> <gasps> All right, so hey. <laughs> okay, your question mark then. That's the get. That's the one you get. Okay. You're hey now. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is. Say, I'm. I'm say, gonna butcher. It's, it's Sayori. 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 Yes. My yeah. neighbor and good friend since we were children. Yep. You know. The kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. All of a sudden question? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, I just sigh an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori Catch up to me. Did it become Sayori? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Love it. I overslept again. I'm not gonna bother doing a girl voice because. Oh, gonna... go for it. You do oh, whatever you, you gotta do. do. You but do, I but caught yeah. you this time. Oh God. You gotta be Maybe, in this. but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. So I'm question mark. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Goober. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> but you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it a little more. <laughs> no. Just kidding, you don't have to do yeah, that, no, but that'd be I funny. Guess. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Goober, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? That's you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have some we'll moments here. Yeah, yeah, I told yeah, you already. Be, re be ready to read. Yeah, I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Siori likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content, I'm just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. I mean, it's like it's actually me yeah. in this yeah. game. It's yeah, like, it's... It's literally Goober in this, because that's how I like to spend my time, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was talking... I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. <laughs> Is it still you? It's still me. Okay. It's still me. <laughs> Just check it. I mean, realistically, look at this. Every video that we do, or that I've done with a guest, it's family. <laughs> like, it's a brother, it's a cousin. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, no friends want to be involved. I, you know, I don't have friends. Yeah, oh. I was going to say, you, you have friends that you can count on, like, more than him? Oh. You I can't. Really. I, no, <laughs> I can't. No. Got one, two, I got a couple. three. Maybe Everybody four, else is just family. Fifth, that's it. Family like has to tolerate me or something. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for being here, guys. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, it's a nice bonding right. moment. <laughs> your your happiness is really important to me. You know. Oh, that's sweet, Sayori. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Stop nagging me. Oh. <laughs> That's not on the words, but... 
Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? What did I just say? <laughs> oh no, I said no pro I, no yeah. promises. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Wow, man, apparently I go back on... No promises! Yeah, okay, fine, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I mean, I'm so excited. <laughs> why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little. At least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever. And it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Still me. <laughs> yep, an ounce. Still me every day. Not happening. How many ceiling tiles? Uh, clubs. CRE wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. I mean, why <laughs> yes. not? If What's I'm gonna start. start. Hello. CRE? CRE must have come into the classroom while I was spacing. <laughs> <laughs> I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you before coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Well, you, you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you would come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? <laughs> there is no way I'm going to your club. No. Eh, meanie. <laughs> Siori is vice president of the literature club. Oh yeah, literature. That's vice president. Yeah. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. <laughs> in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. <laughs> well, why would you go and do yeah. something like that? Make a promise. Huh. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Ah, cupcakes. I'd go for cupcakes. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Exactly. I can't tell if Suri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning oh. as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> the things you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All for anime girls and cupcakes. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Being generally used to the th for third year... What the fuck? <laughs> Being generally used for third year classes and activities... Maybe I need to go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> Siori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Why has the chick got such a deep voice? We need okay. different voices, okay? Yeah. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? A way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Goober! What <laughs> wow. a nice surprise! Go for it. Take it. Welcome to the club! Me. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Yeah, maybe anime club, not so much anymore. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki? Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She was also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Yuri, huh? <laughs> uh, don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and, mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Siori and Natsuki. Oh, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! <laughs> it's great to see you again, Goober! Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do, know, we do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, uh, athletic. 
basically completely out of my league. <laughs> <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come on, sit down, Goober. We made, we made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Yeah, get the cupcakes. Yes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Ooh. Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, I see the bad things. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? He's good. <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Ooh. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Mm -hmm. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! <laughs> I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! I keep hitting the damn desk. <laughs> yeah? Eh, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Ooh, pushy. Mm-hmm. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I believe that. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, look for, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Do you know the best way to eat a cupcake, right? Bottom first, top no, last. you make a sandwich. Yeah, you, you take you the, rip the off bottom, the bottom half, half, and then Oh, it. nice! Yeah. That's... Uh, yeah. they don't do that. Natsuki yeah. is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? <laughs> I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> I didn't say you made them for me, jeez. Hey, I thought you technically did. Siori said... Well, maybe, but not for you, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Like, this game is you so far. I give up on Natsuki weird logic and dismiss the conversation. This is literally me in some sort of, like, Japanese school. Okay. It's kind of odd. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. <laughs> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Eh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. <laughs> I, I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was held hostage. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid of this question. Yeah. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. <laughs> How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, well, you know. There you go. <laughs> well, Yuri, I can't Yuri, see my forehead. Yuri actually kind of, your voice for Yuri actually. Yeah, it kind of sounds like Patrick so a little bit. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Oh, then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Yeah, we're reading right now, yay! Yeah. Yay. 
You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. <laughs> that sounds like a YouTube thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Which one do you pick? Who's your favorite? Um, as of right who's now. Your, who's your first girlfriend or something out of all these? I don't know because, well. No, you have the. Uh, you have to pick one? Well, well no, I just want to know who you're picking right now. You now have met all the girls. Yeah. Who's your lady of choice? Who are you going to try to. Well, if impress. she didn't really have the actual voice that you give her. <laughs> <laughs> you like Miss I Yuri. Yuri. Okay. But Martha's yeah. close second. Okay. I, I think. Okay. All right, that's. Uh, girls with longer hair. <laughs> Yeah, so right, I got it. You, <laughs> I'm all just, for this. Just you know, she okay. doesn't sound like Patrick Star. Even with sounding like Patrick, I'll still take yeah. Yuri first. So there you go. There's my pick. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining, or because I'm a dude. Maybe. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. <laughs> uh, so Goober, <laughs> what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's <laughs> head suddenly perks up. Yeah. It, I'm trying to drink, guys. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. Ooh. Ah, well, that can change. Bites. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. <laughs> Aww. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds, like, you know, manga. <laughs> <laughs> the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on. Clearly passionate about her reading. <laughs> she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep physiological <laughs> physical <laughs> elements usually immerse me as well. That was psychological for those of you <laughs> yeah, yeah. reading along. I just gave up. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how a writer can can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, great. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> Didn't Patrick have really? a pet rock at one point? I wouldn't have expected <laughs> that, Yuri. That's true. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes you think and takes a, takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, uh, I hate horror. Oh, what is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. <laughs> Never mind. Save me. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. Hey, hey, your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> so patronizing. <laughs> right behind his side. <laughs> Siri saddles yeah. up so behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. You write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki adverts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? Uh, I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes just more than confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Oh. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh... 
I guess uh, it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. It's a literature club. <laughs> we got poems, and no one wants to read any of them. Hmm? Yeah. Worst club. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. <laughs> Let me slap you with my hair. Krabby <laughs> Patty! No, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> Natsu huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of, of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen, strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Goober? Monica smiles warmingly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with, with, with what's been in my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Sarah may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought, because I'm an idiot. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, look at them all. They're all so sad. <laughs> oh, no. oh. 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 What? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Goober. You, you all... <laughs> I'm defenseless against these girls. Yeah. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Yes, I'm so happy. Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> <laughs> then that makes it official! Welcome to the Literature Club! Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone! I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Goober, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up their food. Hey, Goober, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Siari and I have never walked home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. <laughs> Yay! With that, the two of us departed the club room, make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Mm-hmm. This is the... Time to write a poem. Writing, yep. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes the poem most. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, say okay? Oh. So, so, you got a, 20 oh. choices here. Just whatever Just shoots out here. And, well, I mean, each of the girls there will like a different, like, kind of... Word. Yeah, so what, what jumps out at you right here? Well, you can kind of Don't look at their faces, hard. right? But... You can, yeah. So you basically, I don't know, I think sadness. Uh, that, do you like sadness? I like sadness. Click it. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, what else? Um. Um. I like agonizing. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace. Mm hmm. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> kitty. I, kitty. <laughs> kitty. Uh. Analysis. Ooh. All right. Um, nightgown. <laughs> nightgown. Oh, I'm getting a little bit everyone here. Wow. Um, <laughs> inferno. <laughs> landscape. Um, portrait. <laughs> um, intellectual. Games. <laughs> Games. <laughs> Games. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What do you think? Um, after image. After image. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the weirdest poem ever. Shame. Clumsy. <laughs> oh, oh no. Both of those are great. Pick one. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. Uh, contamination? No. Oh. Let's play. Okay. God damn it. Ooh. Mass. No. <laughs> <laughs> Better not. Pick it. Now is the not a good time to pick that word. Why? What happened in the States? Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> eternity. 
empty. <laughs> um, tenacious. Ooh. Uh, horror. Oh yeah. I remember she liked it. Ooh. Ooh. Misery. <laughs> no. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Anime. Anime, of course. Yep. Uh, socks. <laughs> socks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Um, Vertigo. Yes. Nibble. Yeah, <laughs> nibble. Nibble? Or electricity. Nibble. <laughs> Fickle. <laughs> Ooh, the last one. Take it away. Okay. Unstable. <laughs> Bliss. Okay. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. <laughs> This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Just like that. I was the yep. last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Goober. It's okay, this is even funny because in the movie, like the very first one, oh, I'm a goofy Goober. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're a goofy Goober. Like, that's all I can think of now with that's, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. It is. <laughs> I really don't want to be here. <laughs> It's, I'm Making scared. you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. He, like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan just to come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Threatening. Jeez. Yeah. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, dang. Yeah, ah. really. <laughs> Natsuki mm, mm, mm. <laughs> finds herself stuck between saying Monica and <laughs> Manga or Manga or Manga or sorry my pronunciation Monica. sucks. Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Plop. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry guys. Goober always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Ain't that the truth? Mm-hmm. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. That's not the truth. <laughs> yeah. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Whoa. <laughs> this is where the me and the character go this yeah. way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cooking, no. Cleaning, no. I'm not a fan of those. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> <laughs> is that so? <laughs> <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Don't worry, baby. There's enough Goober to go around. <laughs> <laughs> How come? You and Goober can become good friends, too. Uh, 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 um, 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 S um. Siori. <laughs> hmm? As usual, Siori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, hmm. oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. <laughs> Wait, Sayori. <laughs> uh, me? Um, not really. I'm the only goober here, so mm -hmm. like, did you bring a goober something or what? Yeah. Don't be shy. Uh, it's it's really nothing. Well, what is it? Uh, never mind. Uh, Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Uh, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Oh, uh, all right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Uh, I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked a book out that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, finger bang, discuss it <laughs> if you wanted. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just snuck that in there. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> As, As she says, finger bang. Like, <laughs> what? Oh. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. <laughs> Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. A few. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Necronemicon or whatever the... <laughs> yeah. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siari and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. <laughs> I can't help but notice her intense expression. 
like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? She just gave you a book, dude. <laughs> Get it together, man. Huh. I guess I could always read some of the book you <laughs> <laughs> But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. <laughs> I could probably fall asleep right now. This, but then now the character comes yeah. back to me. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. <clears throat> We're probably gonna s seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about! The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. That doesn't so solve the problem, though. Hey, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? Suri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to see her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What, what, what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> wow, I mean... <laughs> Everyone loves cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Oh. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That's why... That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we <laughs> still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. Oh, uh, I'll get forks. <laughs> In the end, Siori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Siori can put, up her mi put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh. Oh god, she's close. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I open my eyes to find Siori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Eh, <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't na the napping club. I would join that club in like oh. seconds. <laughs> Same. Let's oh. go for naps. Yeah. Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> <laughs> See? See? Me and the character. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know? Don't say that so loud. Yeah. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. Oh, well. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Hehehe. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? <laughs> n not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. Look, Siori, it's written all over you. Eh? Siori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? Not physically, like real, oh, metaphorically. God. <laughs> you were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Siori's hair, trying to straighten <laughs> it out. <laughs> Man, you really need a brush for this. It's like cement. doesn't move. <laughs> My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but no one would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Siori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? Hey. Apparently yeah. I'm going right for the jugular. <laughs> That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Oh. Oh my. Get a little hands the You didn't your poem yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh no. <laughs> This is so funny. <laughs> what is? Well, 
I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. D don't say that! You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I'm gonna... Schnoobs probably in the way. <laughs> Snoobs? Okay. I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Oh. Uh... Does this thing even fit you properly? Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> it did when I bought it. Bought tit. Bought. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> or wait. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner than it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Don't say that out loud! Eehehe. <laughs> Anyways, you look so much better now. So, ah! Why does it feel strange to see Siori's blazer buttoned up like that? It, but, but it's so stuffy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not worth it at all. Siori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Whew. That's so much better. Siri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? <laughs> and why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. <laughs> so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez! Gah, Siori! Gah! No, I was just... Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. God! Now get up on time! Jeez! Only... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Only... <laughs> Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine. Fine. I can still get my ass up. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we are, we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Where's this going? You're doing it again, Siori. <laughs> Aw, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Yeah? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Oh, Yay. poem time. Goober, I can't wait to read yours. Oh, I can't even wait to see what we came up with. <laughs> yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Siori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Siori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Yep. Siori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. So who should I show my poem to first? Well, um... Mm. See, who do really you like? You picked I your pick girls. You, you Yuri. like Yuri and I Monica. I'll pick Yuri first, because okay. I know she. I got her a few times. Okay. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> that sounds like a very Patrick Star thing to do. Uh, um... It's fine. Don't force yourself. Huh? I'm, I'm not. I, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, this is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I, I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh... Ah, uh, so it's that bad. <laughs> no! I did, did I just raise my voice? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? 
Uh, right, um, it's just that there's this <laughs> writing happens that are usually typical of new writers, and uh, having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. Uh, I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they don't, uh, is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style s separate from the topic matter, and they form, fi form, fit the two together. Uh, and the, re the end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Mm -hmm. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It, it might take some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the clubs gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased though. Oh god. Biased? How? Um, manga? Well, <laughs> never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, here we go. Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be like this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present like... But breathing air of the present but living in the past, the light flickers, I flicker back. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Curse of writing, man. Good lord. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well I just don't read script very often. <laughs> I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? Uh, that's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. Uh, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Goober. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. Didn't she just say it took me a while to read it? Now apparently I just glanced over it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering her, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who's okay. next? Okay. Uh, well, I might as well go with Monica. All right. This is all you, man. <laughs> Hi, Gilbert. Having a good work. time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right. I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be. Or, of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Goober. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all have to get past soon. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. 
Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Siori and I are actually really different. Well, that may be the case. Well, maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. Sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poems. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ah! I could be! Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. <laughs> yeah, same. But in any case, Ciari's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell how she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. I did say sadness in mine. Who knew that someone with happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah! That's totally unexpected. Well, to reach their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay! I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Mm. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. That doesn't mean I always feel the way, you know? Well, let's read it then. Huh, hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spa spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. Blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas <laughs> already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. I wanted to say that's what she said like four, <laughs> five, six, seven times there. Oh, yeah. So what do you think? It's very uh, freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. <laughs> That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not too sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe every, after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Catch you next time on Channel 7, so, News at 8. <laughs> <laughs> so, Natsuki, Siori or Natsuki? Mm -hmm. Let's go, Siori. Let's get this over with. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh my goodness. This is so good, Goober. Of course she likes it. Yeah. Huh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Siori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? You know? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a goober poem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write goober poems from now on. <laughs> and that makes it... <laughs> They're that, just one word long. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes it feel extra special. 
I had poop today. Yeah. Goober. <laughs> it hurt mucho. Yeah. Like just, just Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sarah hugs the sheets against her chest. Oh, she's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird, Sayori. <sighs> Man, <laughs> it's like they just went into my brain. Yeah, like really. Locked me out into this game as oh, the main character. Great. Just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? <laughs> it's like I said before, Goober. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people... That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. <laughs> Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? I am scared to read this psychopath's poem. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Poo, <laughs> sparkles. <laughs> we'll see about that. Here it comes. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I wonder who that's about. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? <laughs> no. Uh, j just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or sh should I put it? How should I put it? it just sound. It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hee 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 hee. This was so much fun. Monica is the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Yeah. Huh? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. <laughs> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. All right, thought-provoking stuff right there. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I, like I set up for a rhythm at the end, but then made it all fall flat on, it, on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what, that's what it means to be a pro. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around at the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way poems can stand up to theirs. My poems can stand up to theirs. 
This is Literature Club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. But I ended up getting... Oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki, Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> What's with this language? Uh, <laughs> um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, uh, I know that. I, I just meant uh, the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Like, throwing <laughs> it out. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would ask someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Goober did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions on my own. First of all... This is gonna get... Excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Bitch, I don't expect <laughs> to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. <laughs> and Goober liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. And Natsuki suddenly oh, stands the, up. The music stopped. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to oppress our new member, Yuri. Uh, eh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Goober appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? What is happening right are, now? Are you that full of yourself? I... no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way and make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Um, is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Goober started showing up. Uh, Natsuki! That's you. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... <laughs> this doesn't this involve doesn't you. This doesn't involve you. <laughs> I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Goober, she, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would never have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The, the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to ha have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Goober. No, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. And it's only a way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Goober? Um... Well... well uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Mm -hmm. So of course that's going to be... Uh, who, your choice! Uh, who are you going to agree with? Uh... Well, I like Yuri more than Natsuki. Siori is crazy, but she is kind of... You got your like, choice. Here it is. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait! You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different than yours. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm, I understand. Yuri. Eh? Uh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. 
Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mmm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She tr she's trapped, at this point being defiant, only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Siori, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Someone's salty. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Ooh. Ooh. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right. I believe you. Thanks, Goober. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Uh, uh it's nothing. One more thing, um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful, <laughs> so, eh? Eh? Huh. What thing did Natsuki say? Um, uh, well, never mind about that. I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. Okay, well, hey everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It, it, it was all right, well, mostly. <clears throat> Goober, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Goober, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hehehehe. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. I tru it truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Siori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Goober, it's nice that I... <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Stupid dog. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got this. Yeah. All right, uh, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Uh, <laughs> it looks like Siori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. <laughs> I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. That's where we're going to leave off right so, now. So, your thoughts so far before we close out? I don't know. I mean, it's it's a slow start. Apparently, like, everyone keeps saying that, like, shit's going to hit the fan and things get crazy. So, like, this is a very long, drawn-out start i guess yeah. like because look at we're over an hour in now oh yeah and um i mean it's it's you're kind of building these relationships right you're mm -hmm. you're kind of figuring out your 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 club mates yep. and uh, their personalities and who do you like and yeah, who's the prettiest and you kind of yeah and you're, you're 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 just learning what makes each other tick i guess and everything so that's that's pretty cool um so yeah i'm really interested in see what happens next like once the shit actually hits the fan so that's what i'm hoping to get to really soon so 
uh, yeah, that being said, um, if you've made it this far in the video, I just want to say thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come back and watch more of the Doki Doki Literature Club with Triple Six and Nick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll catch you again later. Until next time, take care.